to New Media Patriot Radio, the show about you, the concerned citizen, the silent majority, the politically incorrect, the social media patriot fighting every single day to restore American values and exceptionalism. You can follow us on Twitter at the Patriot 143 or on our show Twitter at NMP Radio. Also, uh, if you want to uh, be a guest on the show, you can email me at newmediapatriot at gmail.com. Also, I want to thank ICRN, the new home for internet conservative radio uh, talk. Uh, if you want to check them out, they have a slew of other radio shows on there. Uh, just visit them today. It's conservativeradionetwork.com. It is the new home for us who uh, are being, uh, you know, we feel like we're being left out, the conservative movement here. You know, so uh, follow them. they got a whole bunch of other shows that uh, show them some support. Also, if you want to listen to us uh, via Spreaker, uh, download the app today or simply listen to us via the Spreaker uh, web browser. Uh, and uh, like I said, we're always looking for uh, political bloggers. If you are a political blogger and want to get your write-up featured on NewMediaPatriotRadio.com, simply email me again at New Media Patriot Radio. I am your host, Chris, and Dr. Carson and Donald Trump are officially dropping out. Welcome to the Silent Majority here on New Media Patriot Radio. Uh, this is the Friday Night Roundup, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, I am your host. And uh, our call-in number is 347-338-1775. Come on, I want, I want everybody everybody to participate. It's going to be a packed show here. I have callers, I have reporters on the ground uh, in uh, at CPAC right now, and uh, there's a lot of news coming out of there. So uh, they're going to be calling in throughout the show. And uh, I also have a uh, I have a, a gentleman by the name of Mohammed who's going to be calling in later who is a Trump supporter. He is a Muslim who is a Trump supporter, and he's going to be calling in and uh, telling us about his, uh, about his story. Um, but before we get to all that, I want to uh, introduce my co-host for the night. Uh, he go he goes by the name of Mister Pinko. How are you, Mister Pinko? Chris, how you doing, man? Good, good. Listen, Mr. Pinko was on a previous show. He, he had called in, um, and uh, he was he was awesome. So I, I invited him to, uh, to to co-host with me. Um, so tell us, Mr. Pinko, what, what, what have you been up to since the last show? Uh, let me see. Tearing my hair out of my head since the uh, <laughs> debate last night. And, uh, oh, we're going to get... Yeah, we, we're going to get, get to all that, right? Yeah, we're going to get to that. Let's talk about you know, uh, you know, Mitt Romney uh, and and how he bas- oh. he basically uh, is the uh, he's supposed to be the hammer that's supposed to knock Donald Trump down from his pedestal. I mean, how disgusting is it that here you have a failed politician who has his own bankruptcies uh, to boot, uh, and not only that, but he he's he's been a flip flopper his whole. In fact. If you think about it, I was looking at his record. Uh, it, it, he should be friends with Donald Trump. They, they're kind of similar in in in, uh, in that sense, except for the fact that um, you know Donald Trump is not being supported by the capitalist globalist donors. He's supporting his uh, his own campaign. But if you look at the if you look at the history, they're kind of like identical. So don't you think they should be supporting each other? Uh, not, not that they're identical. I mean, Romney was a, is a politician, yeah. and and my my support for Trump is he's not a politician. And it blows up the GOP, and uh, and right now I I don't even care. You know, right now what Trump's doing because he is my anti politician vote, and I'm sticking by it. Yeah, I think so. I think Romney Romney is the, is the epitome of the piece of crap uh, politicians out there that just want to get elected. Yeah. yeah uh and, and uh it's it's just to, i mean you're right and uh and that's one of the reasons why uh i kind of supported donald trump from the start was the fact that he is not a politician and uh i'm and people people like me are just giving giving him the benefit of the doubt of the doubt because he is not a politician like you said he's he's never been well they say you know he, he donated to, to you know to these politicians on both sides of the aisle well guess what listen we, we we talked about this uh when you were on when you called into the show i believe we talked about the fact of the matter that uh, you know businessmen, especially in New York City, you have to you have to support both parties to get anything done, and uh, it's a trickle. oh you have to grease the wheels, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's and it's and if you think about it, it's a trickle down effect because um, you're you're basically support you're, you're basically supporting both parties so that you can get 
uh, you know, you can develop businesses that ultimately will help um, employ, you know, hundreds of New Yorkers here in New York. So um, that's the, that's the way you have to think about it. You know, uh, as a businessman, you have to think about the, you know, the big uh, what is it? The, the big picture is is about employing. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, he wants to make money, but in actuality, he's 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 his he's his own walking economy. If you think about it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't support Trump at first. Mm-hmm. I told you that on the last yeah. show. I, let the I audience, wasn't on board with Trump. Yeah, let the audience know what, what, what was it? What was the, um, what was the uh, changing? What was the, uh, um, the changing point for you? The what was point? the turning point? I mean, um, I mean, Ted, uh, Ted Cruz was my anti, you know, GOP guy. He, he was, you know, the Constitution guy. He was the, you know, the guy that the strict conservative, and that's what I am. I, I'm a strict conservative. And I'm a strict fiscal conservative. I'm a more importance on the fiscal health of the of the United States, and a lot of the social stuff I couldn't. I, you know, I do care about, but it's secondary to me. So I don't want to alienate all the people that you know that that are full fledged, a hundred percent, right down the line, is purest conservatives. But that I don't get that they could they could see the big picture, like you said before, that Donald Trump will get you to the promised land, will get you to the hundred percent purest conservatism. But you got to get it in, in a step. You're not going to get it all in one shot with Ted Cruz. You're going to fail. Well, uh, I don't think Ted Cruz – my, my point was I'm jumping a gun like, like Donald Trump. i, yeah. I got to back up and slow down. Uh, Donald Trump uh, will get you to the point where you can get – a great conservative in there. Right now, Donald Trump blows up the GOP, which we all wanted to do for how many friggin' years? Right. Right. How, how many years have we all said we need a third party? Yeah. We need to destroy the you know the the main, you know the establishment. The God oh GOP God. controls this. Uh, we finally got it. Are you imi- we finally got it, are you Donald Im- Trump? Are you imitating me? Because I said that a couple of shows ago. I said, you know, for all this talk about the people wanting change in Washington, here they have it. Oh yeah, granted, you know, he's 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 uh, he's changed positions on certain things, but as a businessman, as a businessman, and as a pragmatist. You know, people are giving him the benefit of the doubt. And, and, and again, the same people that wanted this change are the same people that are knocking him down. Yeah, well, I'll even back up because I got, I'm really, yeah, you're backing up. Yep, you're backing, you're backing up a lot, brother. You got- <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 everybody's going to get the pinko history. I mean, I was down in Washington, D.C. on 9-12-09. I, 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 I don't even say how well I was involved with it because then people try to figure out who the hell I am. Yeah. I, I mean, I was there side by side with all these Tea Party. I mean, I was right there with the Tea Party right from the beginning. Right. And what happened to the Tea Party? It got hijacked. Yeah. It got, it, it, the Tea Party started out with all these good intentions, and then it got hijacked, and right. it morphed into the, to crap now, right? Right. right. So uh, what, this is what's happening to the conservative party also and, and, and the Republicans. They're not getting it. Back then, we were all like, we got to blow up the GOP. You know, screw these guys that make all these promises, and they don't, you know, they don't fulfill the promises, and they always dangle the carrot in front of you. Wait until we get control of this. Wait yeah. until we get in control of that. First it was Congress, then it was the Senate, and now we need the White House with the Congress and the Senate mm-hmm. to do anything. Right. No, you had your chance. Right. You're in there. You you didn't, and you didn't fulfill your promises. You didn't show that you were going to fulfill right. promises. Right, right. You ended up funding Obama. Yeah. So. What my point with Donald Trump is he blows it all up. He says, screw you to everybody that went into power that I supported and put my personal time, money, time is worth more than money. And I spent all my time down in Washington fighting for these guys to get into office and everything. And what they do? They did crap for me. See, I'm pissed off. Exactly. And you should be. And uh, you're listening to the silent majority here on New Media Patriot Radio. The phone number to call in is 347-338-1775. Again, the number is 347-338-1775. You are right. And and people, it's people like you who, who have been in the game for so long who who feel this, who, who feel this betrayal. I mean, uh, 
you know, feel it deep down inside because you've you put in the work. You've been down there. You you've effectively tried to to change to change everything down in Washington. And uh, you know, after eight years, you know, a failure by the GOP uh, majority, uh, you feel betrayed. I don't blame you. You know, let's move on to the uh, GOP debate. What did you think about the GOP debate last night? You know what? I, I missed it. I missed it live because uh, I actually went to the Navy SEALs Foundation. I got to mention these guys and uh, yeah, uh, Brennan from the C- yeah Bre- Brennan from the CIA was there. Okay. Uh, Robert Gates was there. Okay. Uh, Seth Meyers was the host and all. That. It was huge. It was like it was like an Academy Awards right. type thing. Right. And we had a Navy SEAL sit at our table. There was 180 tables with 10 people at each table, and it was a fundraiser. It was 1,250 dollars a plate dinner okay. uh, to raise money for all these. Navy SEALs that are injured and their families when they get killed and everything. Wow. So they raised a lot of money. I think they raised almost $8 million last night. It was, it was a great event. Awesome. So, um, so I did get to see the replay late last night, but I, I didn't pay attention to most of it, but I, I saw the, the stupidity part where, where Donald Trump had to hold his hands and measure dicks with everybody, yeah. literally, which was like, and Rubio is the one who, who, who steered it in that direction, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah, and they say, and we're just going down in the dirt and the mud like Donald Trump started all that crap. The, the, those guys, two wrongs don't make a right. right. You know, if they think, you know, Trump's like getting down and dirty in the mud and everything, then Rubio does it 10 times worse. That, that makes him better and right. He's, he's out of his element. He's out of, uh, you know... He's, he's morphed into another person doing this. He, he looks so phony doing it. So, so Rubio was totally looked phony to me last night. And Cruz, I still, I'm still of the Cruz is a. I, I can't stand his preaching. And uh, and uh, one big thing, you know, I, I saw last night was, did you see when I think it was O'Reilly was was interviewing Cruz? I don't ha- after the debate. I, yeah, um, I don't have uh, cable because I cut my cable. So okay, all right. So I, I think I, <laughs> I refuse. I, I, I refuse to wrong, fund them. But- I refuse to fund them. But I saw a clip. Yeah, I saw. Exactly. I saw it on YouTube. I saw it on YouTube. I saw the debate on YouTube. Right. But what happened in the, on the news? So so after the debate, they asked they asked Cruz a question. I forgot. Uh, it'll come back to me. And it's every single friggin' question question that Cruz gets. There's no friggin' yes or no right off the bat. I want to hear. I want to hear a politician go yes and the reason why, or no and the reason why. Right. Instead, Cruz goes into this this so, friggin' you know well, you know uh, words. He's the word salad guy. He's the guy you know twisting and turning right. like a lawyer. Right. You know, like an attorney, because you you hold him to his words and everything, and and here he is snaking through the answer. And I think O'Reilly asked him like three times. I have to look it up on YouTube what he asked him, and it was and it's a strict yes or no. It was about Donald Trump. It was about oh did, oh he, this is what he said. He said do do you think Donald Trump is untr- untrustworthy or, or dishonest? And Cruz wouldn't say yes. Right. It was ridiculous, and O'Reilly goes. O'Reilly goes. You you said all this, but is is Donald Trump dishonest? Well, by the words that Donald Trump says, and this is it. Yes or friggin' no? Right. <laughs> I can't stand that in a politician. It's, uh, Go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm yelling on your show. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. That's why. That's why I have a compressor in the studio so that uh, you don't you don't you don't <laughs> you peek. need it with you, me. You, yeah, you don't peek everything. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And listen, I I like that Ted Cruz, and I will I will like. Uh, uh, like uh, Wilkow says from the uh, from the um, you know uh, 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 Wilkow majority, he says I will tattoo his his name on my butt and drag myself to vote for him because you know we I mean he is the second I mean the second best to me is my second choice you know I would I would vote for him not, yeah. it's not an issue but the fact of the matter that you bring up is is a great point is that he sounds like the small print I always say this he sounds like the small print. Of a cell phone contract. Do you ever read those? I mean, no, because you, you get bored. To, you get bored. You get bored to death. You know what I mean? You get bored to death. I can't even see it. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's it. You just can't even see it. Exactly. It's crazy. You can't see it. You're listening. You're listening to the Silent Majority here on New Media Patriot Radio, and uh, this is the uh, Friday Roundup Show here, and uh, I am your host, Chris, and uh, you can call us. Uh, the call number is three four seven. 347- 